I think this is it. Yeah. So, should we just go ahead and blow it up? Not yet. We should head down there and see what we can find first. We might be able to discover something about how to defeat the androids. Ah, right. Then let's make our way inside. Did it. Right. Now Cell won't be a problem in this timeline. And now we got an ace up our sleeve. Good call saying we should dig around the lab. I didn't think we'd actually be able to find the blueprints for Androids 17 and 18. If we show these to my mother, she should be able to figure out how we can defeat them. True. Actually, would you mind taking this to my mother for me? I have something I need to do. Huh? You're not coming? No. I thought I'd do some training with my father. If he's able to go beyond Super Saiyan, then I should too with proper training. Well, Vegeta's not exactly a team player. He probably won't want to train with you. You may be right. But sparring with someone leads to greater results in a short amount of time. Even my father should know that. It's worth a shot at least. Right. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Reading you loud and clear. Good luck! Thanks. Then, Trunks sought out his father Vegeta, while Krillin made his way to Bulma to deliver the blueprints. Impressed and terrified by Dr. Jiro's genius, Bulma searched for the android's weakness. First two, and then three days had passed. Piccolo and the others, using Kame House as their base, continued their hunt for Cell, but to no avail. They could do nothing but watch as news of more victims spread. A monster has made its way to a town in South District 48. Half the residents are gone. Hmm. So he's made his way south. Well, come on! We might still be able to catch him if we leave now. Good luck! That cell creep sure is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, did everyone leave? Go on too? Great so. Go on. Please be careful. I hope they're able to find that monster.
If we approach Cell in this thing, we won't have to worry about him reading our power levels, don't you think? He's a crafty one. Even if we get close, we're still going to have to flush him out. Goku! Yo! How did you get here? Was it that instant transmission thing? Yep. Get back to 100% then? Yeah. But I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Camicolo! You don't have to combine our names. I'm mostly Piccolo, so just call me Piccolo. I hate to admit it, but I'm not powerful enough right now to take on the androids and that Cell guy. But I think I've got an idea. I'm gonna take Gohan somewhere we can get a year's worth of training in one day. That's right. The hyperbolic time chamber, of course. Wait. No one has ever been able to last an entire year in there. Even you could barely last a whole month before. But things are different than before. We'll be fine. And don't forget, we can bring Vegeta and Trunks along with us. They'll be able to handle it for sure. Then get a move on. Cell's killing more and more people, and his power's growing every minute. Right. Goku, let me ask you something. Are you afraid we might be up against someone scarier than Frieza? Or are you happy about that? Both. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're not giving up. There's that. Go on, let's go. We'll grab Vegeta and Trunks on the way. Okay. Where do you think Vegeta and Trunks are training? Let's see. I'm picking up some energy way over there. I'm guessing it might be them. Goku! So, how's your training going? Not very well. My father's treating me like an obstacle rather than a training partner. He's been like that for three days now. Just standing there. That's Vegeta for you. If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably thinking about how to go beyond Super Saiyan. Don't bother me, Kakarot. Get lost. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I know a great place to train. It's called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. You can get a year's worth of training there in just one day. It's up at Kami's Lookout. Are you serious? Seriously. Come with us! You don't have to train with me or anything if you don't want to. Just so you know, two people can use the room at once. So to save time, you're gonna have to go in with Trunks. Fine. But we're going in first. Got it. Sure! So, we'd like to train in the hyperbolic time chamber. Is that okay with you? Very well. This way. The room comes equipped with a bath, toilet, bed, and food. Good luck to you. Are you sure you want me to train harder, Kakarot? My end goal is to take you out after all. It's probably going to take more than one of us to take this enemy down. Go forward knowing that, okay? In the future, you may very well regret this. If it's okay, we'll head in first. Good luck, guys! And play nice! It's so hot. It's kind of hard to breathe, and the increased gravity makes it hard to move. And there's nothing here. It's just empty white space. Good. This is all I need. I... I have to spend a year in here with my father? Hey, you did want to train with me, didn't you? Then let's see what I'm dealing with. Show me what you've got. Huh? Right. Full force. Don't hold back. Okay. Here I go. Ah! What? Big Bang? I just you at your best. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is this really your power? I better not find out you're going easy on me just because I'm your father. No, it's not that. It's just... No matter who your opponent is, you come at them as if you intend to kill them, understand? You are a member of the proud warrior race of Saiyans. And on top of that, royal blood runs through your veins. My blood! I... I'm not like you, father. <laughs> you coward. You're about to learn that nothing stands in my way. Oh, goody. It looks like I found my next meal. I'm coming for you, Android 17 and 18. Once I gather enough energy from these filthy humans, I will absorb the both of you. <laughs> and then, I will finally become the ultimate life form. <laughs> Soon, soon, I will be complete. Ha 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 